<laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, I know I haven't uh, been posting... Uh, I know I haven't been posting as uh, regularly as I thought I would. Um, I know I said I was going to do a Christmas look that never happened. Um, I was so insanely busy over the holidays this year that just nothing worked out the way I wanted it to. I have this really ugly ass cold that, you know, just doesn't want to go away. It's been around since like the week before Christmas and just doesn't want to disappear. I wanted to sit down and just talk to myself for a little bit. <laughs> it's a normal day in my life. <laughs> I want to talk about 2018 and I want to talk about um, the future of this channel. I mean right now there really is nothing going for this channel let's be honest and that's not because I don't want there to be it's not that I don't want to make videos um, it's just that the motivation to make them uh, isn't there and I think that has a lot to do with how much I'm working <laughs> Like, all the time, guys, I don't stop working. I literally, it's all work and no play, and it's not fun. Today is actually the first day where I feel like I can sit down and film something, mostly because there's a disgusting snowstorm right now. <laughs> Ulta is closed, so here I am. I don't know, it's not that I, it just takes so much energy to make, you know, a good video. And, uh, and I always feel like I'm not uh, making it as entertaining or as good as I know that I can possibly make it. I feel like my videos are really lackluster and there's nothing really special about them and I'm trying... And I think the fact that I am trying so hard to make them special, make them worth watching, that's making them just cringy and awkward and no one wants to no one wants to see a cringy and awkward person. I really do feel like I have the potential to make some really, really great stuff. Um, and I know that not everyone would be interested in watching every single thing that I have to make and that's totally okay. Uh, however, um, another thing is that I don't want to be stuck in a niche. I love doing makeup and I love you know, doing these um, makeup tutorials and the makeup reviews for you guys. Um, but, however, I am tight on cash. <laughs> um, and I don't have the luxury to buy as much makeup as I would like to. I actually haven't bought makeup since early December and that's that's a big deal I'm usually buying makeup with <laughs> every week every week I get something but I've really been trying to cut back on that and obviously you know that's that hinders the makeup reviews because I'm not buying any makeup and I'm not I'm not a big beauty guru um, so I'm not getting sent free makeup um, and that's okay because I want to be able to do uh, genuine videos, um, you know, tutorials. And that's another thing too, like my creativity juices aren't really flowing. <laughs> which makes it hard to, you know, to think of, you know, things to post or videos to make. Um, so that's the reason why my content has been lackluster. There has been literally no content the past few weeks. Anyway, the point of this video is I want to just express to myself <laughs> and to you guys too uh, what I want my 2018 to be. Um, this year, for New Year's Eve, I spent my 2018 at home with my mother and my stepdad uh, on the couch. <laughs> um, while my friends were, you know, out, you know, socializing, having fun. I didn't do that. Um, I haven't done that for the past couple of years. And uh, it hasn't, it didn't bother me. <sighs> to say it didn't bother me um, 
I would be lying, obviously, because I, you know, I don't want to be sitting at home doing nothing uh, all the time because that's what I feel like I do most of the time. I'm sitting at home doing nothing. Uh, but this isn't a what was me type of video. That's the last thing I want this to be. Um, I'm actually really, really happy. Like, I'm content to sit at home and do nothing, but I'm also, like, a super social person. <laughs> like, I'm not... I'm not this introverted person that I feel like a lot of people think I am. Um, the only reason I am introverted or, you know, quote unquote introverted is because I don't have the luxury to do, you know, things normal people do my age. I just don't. So 2018, to get to the point, is the year where um, I want to... emerge out of my comfort zone so to speak it's not it's not that it's my comfort zone I'm I am more comfortable socializing with people now than I was in the past I don't even know and that's not what this video is like this video is not about me talking about you know the woe is me past that I've had um it's about you know the positivity and the good things that I want to see for myself uh in 2018 this is not scripted so I'm just going off of the things that come into my head and then spurting them out from my mouth. This is the year where I don't need to focus on myself as much as I used to in the past. Um, the past few years I've been really sick uh, and I wasn't able to build the bonds and the emotional connections that I wanted to. Um, so this year, I want to be able to do that. Um, I want to be able to, you know, just build connections and build bonds with people that maybe I hadn't, you know, haven't before in the past. And that's not easy. It's difficult because when people already have a certain, you know, image of who you are and, you know, from the past, it, it makes it difficult to create new bonds and new relationships um because they still see you as that person that you're not anymore I don't know if this is making any sense I'm totally just going on and on and on about nothing um I hope I still have you guys with me I hope you're trying to I hope you kind of understand where I'm going with this video I don't even know honestly I am not in college uh I am right now working pretty much full-time <laughs> so that is my life right now I I recently became a certified makeup artist but right now that means like absolutely nothing <laughs> because I haven't gotten any jobs yet I'm like you know I had my parents give out cards I gave out cards and I have gotten nothing so that is that um I do have a gig so I guess I do kind of have a job in March. I'm gonna do makeup for a, a musical. I'm gonna do makeup for The Wizard of Oz, which I'm so excited about, uh, but that's not till March. Um, and there are like a, a lot of really cool things that I've been invited to do, not even just with makeup, um, but performing. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how many people that I know watch these videos. Um, but I'm a performer, uh, or I used to be a performer. I don't even know what I am anymore, and that's a lot about what this video is. You know, what's next for me, what I want my 2018 to consist of for me. Since I was like a toddler, I've wanted to be a performer. Um, I'm like starting to tear up, and that's just stupid. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, because that's dumb. I wanted to be a performer since I was a toddler. And, um... Um, when I was 10 years old, I was in my first production, uh, it was Annie, and because the, the sole reason I wanted to be in that production was because I knew I needed to play Annie, and I did, <laughs> um, and that really, like, was an eye-opening op thing for me, it made me, like, especially because that was, you know, the start, the beginning of a really rough time in my life, and having that 
and finding this passion or, you know, having this passion that I already had fueled was amazing. And then, um, so much happened during, you know, those years that I was performing and I lost a lot of confidence. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna cry in a video that's dumb and I don't want to do that. Um, but I... I lost a lot of confidence in myself. Um, I felt like I wasn't good enough to be performing. And, um, you know, I had, a, I went to college for two semesters to try to perform. I was a theater arts BFA. And uh, it, didn't, it didn't work out. And I've never, I've never, ever, ever lost my passion for performing. I was in a rough spot. I had to, I had to drop out. I had to. I didn't even finish my first semester of college. Um, and then I spent a year uh, trying to get myself back on my feet. I spent a year performing. I had a full-time job performing. Um, but... Um, I still, I had like, I don't know guys, I enjoyed doing what I was doing and I loved that I was, you know, making money off of what I love to do. Uh, 2017 I decided that I wanted to try something different. I, um, I didn't lose that passion, um, but I, I felt like... I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know how I felt. I just, I wanted to, you know, branch out, see what else was in store for me. I needed something to fall back on. Uh, I felt like, I felt like that, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be, a, I'm not, I started, I started losing, you know, the love of performing that I once had. I don't even know if you could say that was accurate, but I spent six months of my life getting my makeup certification. Um, <laughs> I worked at Chick-fil-A for like three months and then I got the job at Ulta and then um, I, haven't, I haven't been thinking about performing. And um, and recently, I've been involved in this uh, cabaret uh, with the people that I that fueled my passion for performing in the first place. And now, I I don't know what to do with my life. I also want to share with you guys other things that I love, like singing. And I wanna and I wanna you know put on stupid skits where I, you know, put on different makeup and <laughs> and um, do my alter egos and the stupid personality thing that, I, that I've that i got going on and that I, a lot of people actually liked, which was shocking because I thought it was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Now that, I, that I've gotten a taste of performing again and now that I have the capability of, and, and the confidence to, you know, go into something and be like, I got this. This is what I love to do. I do this all the time. Even though I haven't done it in like six months, that's the first time I've had that mentality where I haven't been afraid to say, you know, I, 2018 is a big, for me, is a big year because I turned 21. And for me, that's a lot. Um, I don't want to go through another year jumping between jobs, you know, unsure of the friendships that I currently have. Um, I don't want, I don't, 
I don't want this year to be another year of me trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. Um, especially because I feel like I'm relying on myself a lot. I just wanted to share something that um, I recently discovered and I found out. Uh, so I've been interested in these personality types. I've always been someone who has uh, been interested in why people act the way they do. I feel like I'm a very empathetic person and I feel a lot of the things other people are feeling and it's easier for me to be like something's off with you you know it's it's just easy for me to sense emotions from people um most I don't listen I'm just I don't know took a 15 minute quiz on uh my personality and uh I got to the end of it and it turns out I am an ENFP personality type, um, which is KA the campaigner type. The more I was reading about this personality type, and the more like I started being like, oh my god, that's me. Like, oh my god, that's really creepy that this is so accurate. Because they, um, a campaigner type are more emotional thinkers than logical thinkers and I thought that was the most accurate thing that I've ever read ever. A lot of decisions based on how I feel and not what I know is probably the right choice. However, making choices or you know on how I feel has somehow, I don't know, it's just it, 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 it might end up not exactly working out the way I want it to, but at the same time, the experience I get from it and, you know, the drive that I'm like, well, I want to try again. I want to do it, but, you know, maybe I have to approach it differently, um, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try again is, you know, rewarding in a way. <laughs> I realized that that is who I am. I am an emotional effing person, and I'm okay with that. Um, I used to not be. I used to, you know, I used to hate the fact that, you know, I'm in such an open book, and, you know, I, I just spill how I feel towards people constantly because I don't care. And, I, I, I mean, I, because I don't, because I want to get it out, and I want to express how I feel uh, you know, to people, and, and I don't, I don't regret that. So many people, like, hold in how they feel, and I'm just like, well, screw that, this is how I feel, I'm gonna tell you how I feel straight up, I'm not gonna hold it inside, because that's stupid. And, you know, if they accept how you feel, or if they don't, whatever, but that doesn't change how you feel, and it always feels better to tell someone your emotions rather than holding it inside and um that's just always been how i've been you know i've never and then uh, you know i always felt like i felt a lot harder than other people than other people and i used to hate it hate it because i'm like well there must be something wrong with me you know i'm spilling out these things and you know like whatever um but now I, I kind of, I may be an emotional person, uh, but that doesn't mean that I'm not a rational person. I don't know if that makes sense. And some people are watching this right now who are like, yeah, okay. Um, maybe in the past, I was not a rational, emotional thinker. Absolutely. I agree with you a thousand percent. Basically, I just want to say, um, I'm going to continue to post content on here, but I'm gonna make it more personal and I'm gonna make it content that I actually, uh, you know, that I enjoy doing. And if that means I'm not uploading as often, then so be it. Um, I just am really trying to figure out my spot in this world, that sounds really dumb. Uh, uh, and this is, again, where the emotional thinking comes in. I wanna do what I feel is right. 
I want to do what I feel is right for me. I'm going to do that. Um, I feel like this year is going to bring a lot of change for me. Um, I, I don't know. I just have a feeling that this is going to be, this is going to be a year where I'm going to, honestly, I can't even say what I think this year is going to be because this year hasn't happened yet. And you know, in years past, I used to be so nervous. I, I like, I'm dead serious. I used to be so nervous about, you know, new years. And I was like, well, it's going to be the same thing. You know, like I'm going to, you know, shit's going to hit the fan. Bad things are going to happen. And of course, bad things are going to happen. That's life. <laughs> but there's also going to be really good things and things you never really expected. And, you know, so those are the things I'm looking forward to. And um, it's going to try to wrap this up now because if I continue to ramble, I don't know what the hell I'm going to talk about at that point. Um, but if you made it through this video and through my rambling, you are the real MVP and you have my heart fully. Um, and I say that with sincerity. <laughs> I say I hate people, but... I don't. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, I guess. <laughs> and um, stay positive. 2018 is going to be a good year for us, I promise. So uh, see you guys in the next one.